Oh, yeah. I like that. I have one guarantee for you this morning. You've never seen a farmhouse quite this funky. Colin and Justin, everyone. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so you've done you've done sort of a fresh, funky farmhouse vibe. We've never done this before on the show. I don't think we have, you know, but suddenly like. farming is super hip, especially with our super hip audience today. Yes. Uh, which is fantastic. Yes. They're so noisy exciting. today. It's so noisy. It's you fantastic. Know, it's also vibrant color and the gorgeous DIYs. I can't believe the DIYs, which we are, we're going to dissect a little bit later for you. But let's start with this amazing back wall because this whole thing is such a focal point. Well, the first thing, Tracy, that we've decided to do is to add a window feature because so many homes, perhaps particularly if you've got a basement, don't have a good window formation. Right. So sometimes you've got to fake it, yeah? You've got to put a little bit of show on to create the vibe. Fake it till you make it. You've got to, right? Mm -hmm. So these mirrors, these long rectilinear mirrors were from Rona. And now, as they were, they're kind of sweet, but we've put lots of them together to try and allude to that whole 1930s farmhouse, slightly industrial window. We call them crittle windows in Britain. Mm. And we're going to show you how we did that later on. We've actually amended them slightly with electrical tape to give the illusion so of easy. extra window bars. Everything that we do, do you know, everything that we do is simple. And we yes. love what we do because good design is yours to make if you're prepared to take a few risks. So that's a simple one over there. So every time you were getting a shot in the mirror, were you sucking in? Yes. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You know, exposed brickwork, you know, you want to get into that whole industrial farm building vibe. You could do it with wallpaper. This yeah. is from Graham and Brown. I love um, that. And it, you know, it's great. It's got that lovely kind of like salted, kind of like old chalky look. And we thought, you know, it looks great there, but not enough. So we went on to Etsy. I don't know if mm -hmm. you ever look at Etsy online, you know, the little independent makers. And we found this wall transfer. Now, if you're a vegetarian and a vegan, you probably won't like this. Look away now. Um, look away sure now. There must be a map of an onion somewhere. <laughs> yes, exactly. okay. Actually, we've got a map of an onion that we'll we talk about later on. <laughs> exactly. But if you're watching in Alberta, you're going to lap this if up. You're in the train, <laughs> you're crazy. Absolutely. You're going to love this. Um, it's a wall transfer. And honestly, this was so easy to put up. You know, you just get, you get a credit card and you pop it on the wall and you peel back the backing sheet and you rub it with your card, suddenly oh. peel it off and there it is. I think it's That's really amazing. I love that, Tracy, because we're, we're trying to use as many small makers as we possibly can. Yeah. And this is a Canadian maker, do you know? This is stuff that's made in this lovely country. And wherever possible, we try to do that. Yes. Now, cast your eyes, Tracy, for a little moment to the light fixture above. Have you any idea what that is? No, you tried to quiz me before the show. I don't know what it is. You're still do you guys know what it is? Any ideas, Chuck? We don't know what it is. Okay, well, we're going to show you in much more detail later on in how we made it, but these are actually bird feeders from Dollarama for $4.50. Bird, bird feeders, feeders, guys. I know. And we tweet that. We love it. We tweet. $4. They were four and a half bucks a piece, so Amazing. we put a few together and we've put filament bulbs in there on light mechanism cords from IKEA, which you've seen us use before. We'll yes. show you exactly how to do this further into the show. I love it. Aren't I love cute? the warmth of it. Oh, I know. That looks so cool. It fits into this whole industrial chic uh, idea, as do these uh, lovely shelves you put up, or not the shelves, but the hangers. You've got hooks up there. And these with the candles. Oh, yeah, aren't these super cute? We're going to show you how to make these later as well, because these yeah. are DIYs. And um, these started off as galvanized shovels. Again, I think they were like three bucks each. Right. So, you know, not going to break the They're bank. Shovels. Yeah. So good. We're going to the, the timber. The timber's from Rona. We're going to show you how to stain that up so you get the antique look as well. And then we just picked up these fixtures in a hardware store. Yeah. So we're going to take you all the way through that so you can do that yourself. Exactly. In terms of furniture, we've mixed Urban Barn with IKEA, so all really accessible furniture brands. Yeah. There's nothing here that's going to completely break the bank. And farmhouse, you normally don't think of lots of colour, but to try and really speak to our whole funky farmhouse thing, we've added pops of red and some really clear crystal white as well. And later on also, an onion plant. Who knew? We went to the cottage, this. left some onions, went back a few weeks later, opened the closet door, and inside these were evolving like a science experiment. Oh, you hid them. You had to hide them. Yeah, you put like them in, in a the dark, dark cupboard. Yeah. yeah, and we'll show you those again in a bit more detail what we did in the bowls and stuff later this on. This is so but. cool. This Aren't is for cute? people who plant things like Tracy. Like, I kill everything. So, this thumb? is an easy project for me. Exactly. Yeah, I could exactly. grow exactly. these. Oh, yeah. That's these are incredible. Great. So, if you're really dirty in the kitchen, these would be so you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then finally, behind you, yeah. um, 
tomatoes. And you've got more of those great um, onion, the beautiful uh, onion planters, but also you've got the hurricanes with, yeah. uh, with right, the Nikki, I'm just actually going to pop the lights on. I took those, I popped those off just before we started, but let me just pop that. You do the other one, Colin, while oh, you're over there. Oh, that's nice. That. You just flick a switch, love, and suddenly it's brighter. Yeah. Beautiful. Again, that whole rustic feel, but given a slightly more modern interpretation with yeah. the colour scheme of the gold and the copper positioned on that lovely black base as well. Mm. These are from Very Urban nice. Barn. Urban Barn. Urban says, Barn. You know, yeah. and it's a good takeaway to think about how you don't have to mix and match everything. You know, the whole farmhouse thing is kind of relaxed. Yes. So we've got hard chairs in here. We've got soft upholstered chairs as well and kind of beautiful old linens. I love this little nod to Canada on your birthday this year. Yeah, I know. Oh, you know? Exactly. Very a little nice. Mix <laughs>